In this video, we'll continue work on our previously created tunnel and we'll add multiple shapes to a single template. This is done to create sort of a layer effect. The common use for this would be if you had a rough excavation surface and within that a smaller liner or interior surface. So we can have multiple shapes within a template. So under template 2 here, I want to create another shape. And this time we'll call this one shape 2, which is fine because we don't want to interpolate anything. We're also going to copy that first shape from template 1, and we're going to assign this to template 2. We're not going to do any offsets, we kind of want to keep uh, the smaller shape inside of the larger shape we just created. So go ahead and hit OK. And again, our shape editor comes up, um, but we don't want to add anything, so we can close it. And now you see we have this smaller shape within the larger shape. If we go ahead and make some edits to our tunnel mesh, we can open the properties of this. We can look in the 3D view and we can change it to just show the wireframe. And we can also create a new tunnel mesh for this shape 2 we just created. So go into our create mesh here. We'll select shape 2. We'll leave it as name shape 2. And we'll hit OK. And now you can see this mesh inside. We can go ahead in the properties and we'll just give it a color. It stands out a little bit more. We'll go to red. And we'll close that. So you can see we have this smaller shape inside our larger shape. And that applies for the entirety of the tunnel. The way the, the shapes and the geometry work in TBC is if you apply a shape to a station and there's nothing after it or nothing it tries to interpolate to, that shape will just persist. So let's say we want to end this inner shape at station 60. Well what we can do there is we can add a new template position and we'll add in that template too and we said station 60. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And nothing changes since we just applied the same template to an area where it's already been applied to on the tunnel, but what we do want to go in here is go into properties and we can turn off this shape too. Now we see that this inner tunnel sleeve only exists between the stations of 20 and 60. We can see that in our tunnel view here. That turns off there once we get to 60. So with combinations of templates applied at different positions on your alignment, as well as multiple shapes at each template being turned off or on, there's a great deal of flexibility in TBC tunnel design.